guys, I hope you're doing well. So today we're driving to the Red Rock Mountain in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area rests in Clark Country, Nevada, and it's about like 15 miles west of Las Vegas, and it's very easily seen from the Las Vegas Strip. More than 3 million people visit the area each year. And then there's a road, it's a one-way loop road, and it's 13 miles long. Um, the vehicles, they have access to many of the features in the area because of several side roads and parking areas. They allow access, they also allow access to many of the area trails. And then there's a visitor center at the start of the road, which you can get a bunch of your information from. And this loop road it's very popular for bicycle touring where it begins with a uh, moderate climb and then you just go down so right now i'm at the red rock canyon Na national conservation area i think that was called and it's absolutely freezing because literally i bet you can see the ice that is flowing from the back of my head <laughs> okay but still it's really cold like look my jacket is covered with a tiny ice bit. And Red Rock Canyon is basically, it's like, a, it's like the Grand Canyon, except the rocks are really red. Example, right beside me. <laughs> Very big. I think there's another pathway that leads up to there, but we're going on this pathway for now. And I want to have a fire in front of me right now <laughs> because it's so cold. So we're walking to the mountain. I'm going to be hiking for sure, 100%. And um, we have just gone, we are like close to the mountain right now, super close. And now I'm starting to climb. You can see me in the, yeah, now you can see me with my black jacket and black pants. And then, so I'm just climbing up, just hiking up the thing, and then without hands. So yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I'm just waving at you guys. And like the color change scenery is me just running right now. <laughs> and that changed the color for some reason. But really though, I, I fast forwarded it. And so it looks like I'm running and it was super funny because I couldn't stop laughing the first few times I saw it. And so, yeah, this is the color change between limestone and this carbon, like, packed together into stone. Now, my my brother and my dad were also following me while I was climbing. Can you believe the scenery here? The clouds, the mountains, the ground, it makes, like, a perfect match. And also, like, there's, like, in this... There are at least like three to four colors of mountains and I'm super excited to see them. And I will also be showing them to you. Rock Mountain and the rocks are red. Like it's the same place, but the rocks are just a bit more red. So that's why I'm showing you. And I'm gonna climb this mountain too. <laughs> okay, but I'm still gonna do that. So the Red Rock area used to be under an ocean basin during the Paleozoic era, which used to be 600 million years ago and 9,000 feet of limey sediments were deposited and lithified to limestone, like they turned into limestone. And then in the Mesozoic era, the Earth's crust rise due to tectonic shifts and those higher mountains and um, they, those higher mountains, they're caused because they have more tectonic plates under them, and so those rise more. And then, during a mountain building period called the Laramide Oregony, around 66 million years ago, that's still a lot, the Keystone Thrust Fault developed, and the Keystone is like a series of thrust faults, it's part of it, and it ran through much of the western North America and through the Red Rock Conservation Area. And the movement of this fault for, forced the older gray sedimentary rock over the younger red rock. So that's why we have this very colored landscape that can be seen in the mountains today. So the thrust is exposed over a distance of 13 miles along the red rock escarpment. 
My brother was so excited to climb with me. We both like fought against our parents. Yeah. And then, but the thing is on the red, with the red rocks, I took him. And then on the white rock, my dad took him. So yeah, my dad and um, him were following me on the white rocks. But then there was one point where they couldn't both climb up because only dad could. And then he couldn't pull my little brother up if he did that. So they stayed down and I went up. That's why you saw me like 2,000 feet up in the air, which it probably wasn't. And then on the red rocks, um, I took Som. I took my little brother. His nickname is Som. For Compared to the rocks you see right now, like that I'm standing on, and the rocks you see far in the distance, they have very much difference. Then that's the little trail we walked on to get up here. And those are the parking spots. So like looking at this red rock I'm standing on, like, and then if you shift the camera a bit up, then you'll see how white in the other rocks are. And then that's me at the very top of all of them. Huh. I climb way, I climb way faster though. Look at the amount of the stones that are like fully red in this one, because like, even I don't get how they turned red because I can't get any red powder on my hands. I don't really get the natural part about this because it created a whole mountain with red rocks so yeah and then the last stone was fully white so i climb i'm really high right now but i i climbed up there and, and then i came down because i have to leave now sad so basically this is what i would call the red rock mountain instead of the last one that I so you can just see how high I am by looking at the picture. I'm just like having to, um, my mom's just like having to zoom in to actually show me. For a second I thought that wasn't me for some reason. <laughs> but still, now I'm coming down and it's going to take a long time because, yeah, I was super high up. And then all of these rocks, they could easily break your leg if you don't be careful. That's why I was trying to take a longer pathway because I like the longer pathways and I didn't want to go already. So yeah. Now I'm still going down on the easy way. And because I didn't want to leave, I just took the longer way so that um, my parents would be kind of annoyed with me. <laughs> but it was super funny. Anyways, I'm still going. And I'm upside down right now. Oh no, I'm not. Aw, I thought I was gonna be upside down. That would have been happy. Just be walking on the roof. <laughs> but this is the little pathway I climbed on. Look at this scenery, like from here you can see the colors of the rocks blending in with each other, the red, the brown, and the white, and then in the background there's these mountains that are kind of snowy, then these gloomy clouds, and then the landscape. It's all perfect match. different mountain color and it's like brownish red in here this one and then this one is like white and red but they blend in with each other you can see each color clearly they just blend and the little rocks on top are just like you know tiny stacked on on top of each other We literally forced ourselves to get down, but when we got down, we saw the scenery, even though it was very cold, we forced ourselves to get down because it was super fun and it was a super beautiful scenery. Just look at this view. It's so pretty. So here is the place I told you the rocks are very stacked and there's a small board that I read. It's just like when it rains and like the thing, the like climates of the area. And then now we're riding along and 
and you can see the colors not blending with each other. They're kind of two different mountains, but it's white and red. I, I personally like the white and red mix because it's so good. See on the sides, it was like the white stacked on top of the red. clearly see the mix of white and red without it blending in one mountain like here there must have been a great formation in order for this to have happened especially without blending it literally looks like like someone like formed it and painted it themselves This is yet another extraordinarily beautiful view of the Red Rock Canyon and the landscape and the clouds and everything. Except here it's even farther away. In the background you can see those snowy mountains that I've always been wondering about, but we never got time to drive there and, and I'm pretty sure you can't drive there maybe. But seriously, that is super cool. But anyways, I was super excited when we went there because I was like super excited to climb the mountains. I really hope you guys liked this video because I definitely enjoyed it. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get more updates on our videos. Bye and see you next time.